<laughs> Lily and Lacey, our dogs, are accustomed to a morning treat in which they receive their toys with a little peanut butter surprise inside. They have become so accustomed to this that they expect it. And this is a little bit of the topic of justice and righteousness. We expect God to be righteous and to provide for the weak and for the afflicted. And when it seems like God is not providing, then we go to God with our uh, voice and with our um, uh, plea for him to help us. This is, seems to be the subject of Psalm 82, where uh, the psalmist reminds the Lord of his justice. Psalm 82, verse 3 says, Vindicate the weak and fatherless, uh, do justice to the afflicted and destitute, rescue the weak and needy, deliver them out of the hand of the wicked. And goes from there to expand on how uh, human leaders also should provide that justice. In the United States, uh, where we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, we end with liberty and justice for all. But around the world and through history, justice has not been for all or for many, in fact, through history. Um, might has been right. Well, not really, but that's the whole prevailing way. But that's not the Lord's way. The Lord's way is to give justice in his time and in his way. And uh, you want that, right? Yeah, you want that? Okay. And, and to, yeah, yeah, okay. But it doesn't have the treat in it yet. Okay, they're going to play with it anyway. The Lord's way is to give justice. And uh, where the gospel has influenced people over the years, our country provides for those that are weak and needy and um, takes care of the fatherless and the orphans. And we're very thankful for that. And one of the ways that the gospel has advanced is in the advancement of justice. Um, there's still work to be done, as we know. And, um, and yet Jesus was always concerned, too, with the weak and powerless. And Jesus will come back in righteousness and give justice to all who have been oppressed or afflicted or things haven't been done right. You know in West Virginia that uh, in the coal mining days uh, uh, years ago that the coal mine companies paid their workers in script that was only possible to spend in the company stores and in the company properties. That was a type of affliction and persecution and oppression there that the coal companies were going to get richer and richer at the expense of the workers. The Lord's not like that. He has a better plan, a plan for righteousness and justice and one day entire harmony and peace in his world. God bless you. Keep eyes on Jesus as we remember his justice.